Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on a new chapter of Ancestry Kill Shitu, which is on chapter 166. Now, I read this chapter last night in the raw version, and it just came out translated today, many hours ago. I'm sorry if I did not pick this up. The reason being is that I was kind of tired, and I went to take a small time nap, and guarantee of all hell, <laughs> I'm still a little tired. But, um, I'm, I'm better than before for the time being, so, um... This chapter was pretty shocking. A lot of intel and info dump given to me, not just to me, but many other many other readers who's keeping up with the series. So if anything else, let's get started. Okay, at the beginning of the chapter, we have to it that Karasuma is trying to figure out where the kids are kept at, you know? And apparently he tells them he's he's got some and apparently like um he even became enraged by saying, Why did you like um kidnap these kids? And one of them, which is Hojo apparently he pretty much tells Karasuma that because these kids are getting in the way of the operation we are at for the time being so I had no choice but to do what I had to do and apparently when he saw him he was like what the hell man is what who the hell what the hell even Karasuma was even a scared so this proves Karma's point of theory pretty much he says that this guy is possibly stronger than Karasuma himself and therefore, every all, all of Class E are detained in a room like prisoners, you know? All their clothes are taken away, and they go like, what the hell are we supposed to do now? We're never going to get out of here. And seeing how we had to sit on our butts right here, it, it just makes me sick. Many of the students are pretty sick, are like being really ticked off about that. And therefore, Karasuma appears to them, and they go like, hey, yo, Karasuma, help us out. We want to get to school. I'm begging you. Can you help, can you help us? And eventually, Karasuma gives out some bad news and says, Because of your freaking crazed up actions, I am unable to do anything. But before I get into further notice, um, the principal of Kunogaka, Gakua School, who is apparently who is apparently who is apparently trying to like him calm down the reporters, but he managed to brainwash one of them to think that Kunogaka Middle School is still the best, you know? Some of the reporters, that is. And he's wondering to Koro Sensei, the assassination you're up against is pretty much, um, it's pretty much the hu all of humanity. Now, how are you gonna get out of yourself out of this one? Going back to Karasuma, going back to Karasuma's sayings about like, um, saying that he's unable to do anything. He also tells them that the group that they just witnessed right now. Was, a, was known to be a wolf pack, but the leader of them is known to be a legendary soldier or he's known to be the divine soldier or god soldier in the world and he is known as Hojo and apparently we get to know that because of his skills of battlefield and in proudness, you know, he is known to sever a lion or kill a lion. Pretty much he's known as the lion slayer, like no tomorrow, like he could take care of him like he can easily take care of them. And if the reputation clears it, as Karasuma says, this guy is known to be, is possibly three times stronger than myself. Which gives me a conflicting thing because, like, um, we do know that Karasuma did fight the god of death, you know, the assassin. So, I don't know when he's gonna play a certain role in this part, but, um, let's not forget about him. I've been mentioning about the god of death many, many times, you know? So, yeah, you guys get the cue. So eventually Nagisa goes like, no, we are not going to give up. Karasuma, I'm begging you, let us see Koro Sensei get to school. But Karasuma picks up Nagisa and slams him down to the ground and says, your request is denied. I'm not going to ask you again, all right? And later on, he ends up saying a couple words that seems to be very, very harsh, but I can't deny him, can't deny him of saying that. But, um... He tells them that you guys ought to stand down and think about what the hell you guys been doing, alright? So, think hard on that. La la la. But apparently, Ter Terasaka is pretty t ticked off about this and go like, I can't believe this guy, dude. He, he left us right in the dirt while we need him. But Karma says, as you all can understand, there's no point of talking to him because like he's a member of society and there's no way he can fight the higher ups fight the higher ups, all he, is, all he is doing is just following orders. And Karasuma says, exactly. And therefore he, the moment he left, Nagisa decides to interpret some of the words what the, what, what he has been saying to us, you know. Apparently he said, 
apparently he does apparently Karasma did gives out some intel that these guards tend to have the tend to have tend to be lowering the guard for around the fifth day at most and not only that um we have to it that Nagisa did interpret the words saying that do not cause trouble for me all I want you to do all I want you to do is act I trust all, all you all to think and act for yourselves and pretty much when he mentions my position is different from yours means I will provide you with as much intel as I can after that I respect your decisions you know and apparently that's what Nagisa interpreted because he talked to Karasma back then so pretty much like Karasma is helping them out but he he's helping them out in a different kind of way. And for the time being, the the chapter closes off with Core Sensei still making the year, year, yearbooks for the students, you know, so understandable. So overall, I gotta say, this was a pretty cool, this was a pretty cool, pretty cool chat, pretty cool chapter, you know, had a lot of fun here and there, but um, all I know is, is like, um, there, all I know is this is the heat of the moment for the time being. I'm very sorry if I've been um a little stuttering here and there it's just i'm just tired as always you know we have to it that coral sense is in a in a tight spot not only that that goes with class e but karasama is helping them out in a different way so so to speak if you look at it carefully after nagisa interpreted all the words to the class e students not only that we get to understand why karasama was was scared as hell the moment he saw hojo because this guy's known to be God soldier or soldier under divine protection because of his legendary battle skills he's known to be the lion slayer <laughs> so understandable so and it's even child's play for him so I'm not really sure if he's really like close to the god of death but I, like I mentioned this like many chapters ago like um the god of death he wants to have a showdown with Coral Sensei no one else you know so that's that's understandable so I don't know what's gonna happen but guarantee of all but guarantee of all heck right now, events are starting to get a little hype, hyped up for the time being. Or it's starting to increase, starting to go crazy, that's for sure. Don't know what's going to happen next, but it's going to be one hell of a ride, that's for sure. So I'm just going to leave it that, people. I'm sorry if this video is up late or I, and I'm stuttering a bit here and there and looking at a couple things. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, alright, I'm Alfazito. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.